Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be looking at the camera of a fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and the camera of a Google Pixel 2. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, so our first few shots are just going to be of pictures in broad daylight, nothing really challenging for the camera. So the first shot we see here is just of a field and the Google Pixel 2 it's a little bit darker but because of that, we get a little bit more detail in the camera. And for this fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, it's a little bit blown out. So we lose a lot of detail, which is disappointing. I wish that the Google Pixel 2 was as bright as the fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, but had the same amount of detail. Okay, so this is obviously a picture of phones. And the Google Pixel 2 and the fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, they shot almost, um, well, it looks like they shot pretty identical photos, but it's it's really not. So if you actually take, um, take the photo with the Pixel 2 and you can zoom in really far and you can actually read the, um, the words on the little signs that you see and see how much the phones are. But with the fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, you can't do that in any way. Okay, so this is just the same photo taken with the Google Pixel 2, and I'm gonna zoom in right here, and as you can see, you can actually read the words, the Galaxy J5 2016, only 169 euro. So, and you can look around, it works with everyone, this isn't just like, um, you can only read one of them. So you can really clearly see, I'll show in a second, the um, a zoom in with the fake Samsung Galaxy, S9 Plus's photo, and you can really see the difference in the quality of the images, the, um, just how different the images are. So, as we can see, if we zoom in now, this is the fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus's photo, you can't read any of the words. And this isn't just like transferring, this is, um, this is how it was on the original photo on the fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So you can really see the difference in the image quality. Okay, so just like the other photos, the trend continues that the Google Pixel 2 shoots better photo, more better quality image, um, and the Samsung, the fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, it's blown out. So I'm definitely going to say the Google Pixel 2 won this little round. It did amazing. And the fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus just ruined the photos by really just blowing them out way too much. Okay, so selfies. For some people, these really matter, and for others, they are completely meaningless and just silly. In these photos, I'm using the um, like the face beautify mode on both of the phones, and as we can see, the Google Pixel 2 blurs out the background and puts a little bit more definition into your face, and the fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus does not blur out the background and just makes you look like a weird vampire. So I'm definitely going to say the Google Pixel 2 did way better on the like, self-beautification mode. And both of these photos were taken without any like effects, computer effects added in. And as we can see, the Google Pixel 2 did pretty good, no blurred background, and a little bit more like realism in the photo. And with the fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, that is, there's still no blurred background. I don't think it has the ability to do a blurred background. And again, you look really white, which is weird, but it's something I noticed when I was traveling in Thailand. They really advertise like an AI camera that makes you look really white. I tested out a few phones that made you just look like a vampire. So I clearly, it's something that matters to... Um, some people, I, I guess, uh, I don't really see the purpose of it, but again, the Google Pixel 2 did much, much better. Okay, moving on to zoom. This was taken with the Google Pixel 2, which does not use optical zoom. It uses digital zoom, but it took some pretty good photos, the three and a half times zoom. You lose some image quality, but it still looks pretty good. And then the seven times zoom is where you're going to lose the most image quality. There's going to be a lot more noise in the photo, but it took a pretty good photo. It's not that bad. So I'll give it a thumbs up for that. We're going to look at the seven times zoom in a second to examine it in closer detail. So this is the seven times zoom taken with the Google Pixel 2. And as we can see, it did retain some image quality. So I'm going to say the Google Pixel 2 did pretty good. 
Okay, so this is the fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. As we can see, it can only go to four times zoom, not the seven times zoom of the Google Pixel 2, but it does an okay job of it. The first photo is pretty good, the two times zoom is not the best, and the four times zoom is pretty bad. It loses a lot of image quality in the last photo, but it does manage to actually do zoom in pretty far. And in a second, we're just gonna jump to the four time zoom photo so we can look at it in um, more detail. Okay, so this is the four time zoom photo of the fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. And as we can see, it lost a lot of image quality and it did much worse than the Google Pixel 2. So I'm gonna say the Google Pixel 2 wins the zoom round. Okay, so this is a photo of the same gas station I was taking photos of. But this time I'm using a telescope, which is going to use optical zoom, not the digital zoom of both the phones. So it's going to be much, much better. On to the next round where we're going to compare some lower light photos. So looking at both of these photos, we can see that the Google Pixel 2 produced a more colorful photo. And you can't really see it on this screen, but the Google Pixel 2 did a much better job of outlining all of the little curves and details in the stained glass than the fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus did. Um, so the Google Pixel 2 did really good in this light, and the fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus did okay, but definitely not as good as the Google Pixel 2. Okay, so now on to very low light. As we can see, the fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus really struggles with this. It overexposes some parts of the photo and way underexposes other parts. And as we can see, the Google Pixel 2 maintains a really good image quality despite the darkness and produces a much better looking photo compared to the fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, which is really blurry and has lots and lots of noise in it. Okay, now on to extremely low light. The Google Pixel 2 did really, really good. I couldn't even see the clouds that night. It was so dark. And the fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, it doesn't produce a lot of noise in the photo like it did in the last one, but it really doesn't give you any more details except the lights of the city. So I'm going to say the Google Pixel 2 did way better in this photo, and I'm going to say that the Google Pixel 2 won the low light round. Okay, so who won? I mean, it's pretty obvious the Google Pixel 2 totally knocked this thing out of the park. It's an amazing camera. I really like it, and I would recommend it to anyone who's looking for a good camera on a smartphone. Now, the fake Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus didn't do so well. It shot some pretty poor image quality photos and just was overall worse. I mean, you have to expect that with a $120 phone. Okay guys, so that's all, and it'd mean a lot to me if you could just click that subscribe button. Don't like smash it or anything, I really don't want you breaking your keyboard or your phone screen. But yeah, it'd mean a lot if you could just click that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.